All right, this is Aaron and Andy back in the hut. We just want to help you love and lead your kids well. We know obviously you're invested in this. You've brought your kids to VBS. You've let us play with them and love them and eat with them and do all sorts of activities, great connection stuff. But this is stuff you're doing at home as well. But we wanted to just highlight today the simple activity of eating together. It seems like we missed that. I, I ate by myself today actually multiple times, so um, but, I. Yeah, but, but I think we've misused food when we mm -hmm. eat it alone. Because it's not just about, I need nutrition, it's about making a connection with people. And we're just kind of terrible at that. I remember when I was in Morocco in the capital city, and we stopped to get ice cream, and then some friends and I were walking down the street with an ice cream cone. No one else on the street was eating, and people were just looking at us like, what are you doing? You sit down and you eat together. When I spent a year in Mexico, we'd build some houses for people and they'd serve us lunch afterwards. And some of my most favorite memories are actually from those meals. More and more people are trying to do this to make a rhythm where they're spending more time eating together because they've noticed that, wow, this just doesn't happen. You don't feed people, you eat with people. You feed cattle. I grew up doing farming and all that. You, you feed yeah. animals and livestock. You yeah. eat with people. Business deals start with business meals. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they're like breaking bread together. In fact, the whole word company or companion comes from the word to eating together or being together over food. So some of the reasons we don't eat meals together, number one, I think life is just too busy. Our schedules don't seem to match up. Another one is that that I hear all the time, well, we just have picky eaters. And so they wouldn't eat the meal that we all put together. And we yeah. do this at our house all the time. We have meals and we have neighbors over all the time because mm -hmm. it's such an important time to connect. Uh, fourth one is we don't know how to cook. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, exactly. And so we're reliant on you know, quick foods. One thing we know is that it's easier to adjust a habit than to create one. So let's not just start with seven meals a week. Let's just start with one and pick, you know, pick one and start to start to do that. So what are some tips? How can we begin this yeah. together? Uh, the first step is um, skip the screen. So we're going to talk about in uh, another video about how to create uh, healthy digital citizens. Um, but the biggest thing you can do is take the lead by just starting that and turning off your phone notifications, putting your phone away, yeah. um, encourage your kids to do that if they have them. Um, and just focus on spending some time with your kids and getting FaceTime with them. Yeah, I was sending you a text tonight, and then yeah. I was like, I just got to chuck it. So I chucked the phone onto the <laughs> island and looked at my kids like, okay, this is the deal. So another thing is uh, just sharing communication and connection. We do a high, a low, have everybody share that. And a good one to add is a mistake. Because if we as adults can start to talk to our kids about mistakes we've made and learn how to process through that, that can be a really good connection time. That can help the kids learn how to process mistakes. And if we're not showing them, someone else is. Here's like a pro level 100 tip. Cook together and make a mess. And don't, don't get stressed out. And if you're prone to get stressed out, just make a plan. I will not be stressed out by this. This is okay. Because if you can laugh instead of scold, when those mistakes happen, it, it begins to be a story you can tell with a smile. And if it's a story you can yeah. tell with a smile, it's a positive memory that lasts forever. We, we hope this helps you love and lead your kids well. This has been Andy and Aaron in the hut. And uh, we are just uh, so stoked to help out in any way we can. If you can think of a way, please connect with us. Check us out on social. Subscribe to the channel. Visit us on the web. And check out this link. There's nine proven reasons why you should eat together as a family. All right, see you later.